Let's do it. All right, so here's the situation. You're tired of sitting at your desk and grueling it out because you've been working and you're just tired of sitting at your desk staring at the computer screen. So you decide you want to go sit on the couch or in the bed and stare at your computer screen because you're not done working. You just need to get out of that office chair. So what do you do? You go sit in the bed, then you prop up your laptop, you open it up, and then you just start punching away. And then everything is all out of order. Then you gotta kinda start, you know, pushing the screen back and stuff like that. And then you've been working so hard, the laptop is heating up cause it's on your lap or on a pillow. It doesn't have any air to breathe because you didn't clogged up the fan. So what do you do? Bruh, I got the perfect solution. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. So this is my new find. This thing is actually, uh, it's kinda enhanced my life a little bit, to be honest with you. This is my laptop desk or my lap desk for my laptop <laughs> whatever <laughs> anyways man i love this thing it's perfect for me i scour the internet and i look for all different uh kinds with a mouse pad or maybe a little tray or something off to the side and this was the one that actually just worked out for me it's kind of lightweight i think it's packable i think it weighs probably two or three pounds i don't even it's probably three pounds max so you can actually pack this in a bag and the reason why i say that is because you can actually tuck clothes in this compartment here and then the rest of this is real soft so it squishes just like that but it'll squish down or you can just pack around it and it'll just lay flat in your suitcase so if you're gonna be traveling, I think it'll work out for you. It has this cool little handle right here and it's got your ergonomic bar right here that you can rest your wrist on. But let me go ahead and put my 13 inch laptop on top. That way you can actually gauge whether your laptop is gonna fit or not. This is a 13 inch uh, HP Spectre 360 and it fits perfectly on here. And then you have, let me get my mouse. Okay, so then you got a mouse pad right here. And then you got a slot for a phone or a tablet or maybe some pencils or something like that. And then you can just sit down, keep the work flowing and you don't have to be at your desk. You can just go sit down on the couch or maybe lay in the bed, still crank out some work while binge watching the office. As far as comfort goes, I have literally worked maybe two to three hours on this thing while I was in the bed just watching shows. Uh, but there was one quality issue that I uh, just had a problem with and it's really not that big of an issue. Right here on this mouse pad, this is like a, this is actually vinyl right here it's basically just glued down onto this white plastic behind it and they didn't glue very well so what i need to do is just probably take a hair dryer heat it up real good and then just lay it flat and it'll probably stick to it if not i got some spray adhesive i'll just peel it back and then put it back on there no big deal for a guy like me i'm pretty handy with stuff it might be an issue for you if yours comes like that but i just told you how to fix it now before we get out of here let me show you how the bottom side of this thing looks once again that way you can see how comfortable it's going to be so you got this canvas material which is you know it's got this styrofoam underneath so it's actually pretty plush and it'll squish and it's all lined it looks like it could be heavy but seriously you could travel with this thing i'm gonna be heading to ces 2019 and you better believe that this bad boy is coming with me but let me dress it up once again put my laptop on there my mouse got my phone but look i ain't no expert in this kind of stuff i'm just trying to show you some stuff that might help you out but if you had a good time watching this video you make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comment section and i'll see y'all with the next one